Alright everyone, welcome to Mystical Slacker's Let's Play of Yeez the Oath and Fell Ghana on PC. Doing something a little different here. I decided I didn't want to go through with the rest of Legend of the Mystical Ninja, at least not for now. I need some more practice in that game, so I thought to keep my motivation going, to keep myself wanting to record videos, I will start to do things that I know a little bit better for a while, while I build up my Let's Play style. That way, hopefully, I can start playing some new things on this channel that I haven't played before, maybe with a little bit more confidence. So, uh, speaking of confidence, I'm going to play on very easy mode. Now, some of you may laugh at me, very easy mode and easy mode are for pussies, right? This game is incredibly hard and punishing. This entire series actually is. And... As you know, I don't consider myself to be incredibly good at video games in the first place. So, anything that is notoriously difficult, I'm not going to do well on. We just arrived by boat in Felgana. This is Adol with the red hair and Dogi with the blue hair. Well, Adol, here we are. This is Felgana. I was hoping we'd get here a little earlier in the day, but I wasn't expecting the waters to be so rough. Still, this place does bring back memories. Hard to believe it's really been eight years since I left. There's Margot. I always called her Mams, called Gardner, not to mention Chester and Alina. <laughs> I wonder what they're doing after all this time. Oh man, what the hell happened here? This monument's dedicated to the god of safe journeys. It's a relic of the old religion from when people believed that spirits existed even in stuff that wasn't alive. I just don't get why anyone would deface it like this, though. I guess maybe the rumors really are true. What was that? It came from over there! Damn it. Left behind again. Oh no, wolves! Oh no way! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! What the hell are monsters doing in Felgana? So I guess Felgana is known for its lack of monsters. My monsters? Here? What are they doing this close to town? Yeah, I don't think running away is a good tactic here. Although don't really think anything is a good tactic here. Bitch, I'll cut all of you. So this game is a simple hack and slash RPG with, as you can hear, amazing music. This is a kind of an obscure series. I don't think many people have played this. In fact, searching on YouTube, there are a couple of Let's Plays of this already, but none had ma very many views. So I thought to get more views, I would do something that people don't want to watch. <laughs> Excuse me. Thank you very much for saving me. You're a traveler, aren't you? Um, are you hurt at all? Hey! <sighs> Are you alright, Adol? Right when you ran off, I got attacked by monsters, too. I'd like to know what the hell those things are doing in Felgana. Whoops, excuse me. I guess they must have been after you. Are you okay, miss? You don't look like you're hurt, at least. Huh? What's wrong? Something on my face? Am I, like, covered in monster gore? <laughs> I think that would be a more than just your face. Did he did he kill them with his face? Smashing him with his face? Doggy? Uh I knew it. I must be dreaming, Doggy, you're actually back. What have you been doing all this time? Hey, hold on a second now. You obviously know me, but do I know you? How can you even say that? You, me, and my brother used to play together all the time when we were kids. Don't you dare tell me you've forgotten. 
Uh-oh, no way! When I last saw you, you were just a skinny little tomboy. Well, that was eight years ago. I'm 17 now. Man, you sure are. <laughs> Man, Dogie. That was smooth. I'm sorry, where are my manners? Where are your manners? What about Dogie? My name is Elena. Elena Stoddart. As we approach Hyrule Castle Town. Elena, where have you been? You had me worried sick staying out so late. I'm sorry, Mr. Gardner. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. I just... It's okay, Elena. As long as you're alright, we'll pretend this never happened. So who are your two friends? I don't believe I recognize either one of them. <laughs> Look a little closer. You'll get it in a second. Huh? Hey there, gardener. Still standing at the gate like always, I see. Wait. Dogie? Is that really you? <laughs> yeah. Guess I've been a little out of touch. Sorry. My favorite little troublemaker has come home. Where have you been all this time? And what have you been up to? Well, you know, wandering, killing monsters, saving the world, the usual. Anyway, I brought a pal of mine along. Go on, Adol, introduce yourself. Adol introduced himself to Gardner. An adventurer, eh? Well, that's certainly a rarity. But from the looks of that sword on your belt, I can tell you're no amateur. No, he's quite remarkable. I was attacked by monsters just now, and he came right to my rescue. Is that a fact? Well, then you have my thanks, good sir. I'm sorry I wasn't there to help. That's the problem with gate duty. You miss all the real trouble out in the field. Does raise a point worth discussing, though. Why are there monsters here in the first place? We'd heard rumors that Felgana's fallen on hard times. But I had no idea it had gotten so bad. Yeah, things certainly aren't looking up these days. It's been pretty bad for around a year now. We're rarely visited by anyone anymore. As a result, no travelers. No merchants. Man, that sucks. <laughs> oh, man. Monsters everywhere trying to kill your people? That sucks, dude. It just blows. Let me open this weird textured gate that has more detail on it than anything else. So as you notice, Adol himself doesn't talk. Whenever he needs to convey information, a narration just says that he tells someone something. He is the epitome of a silent protagonist like Link. <laughs> this place sure hasn't changed much, either. I used to live and work in this inn when I was a kid. I owe Mams a lot for looking after me back then. Hey, Elena. Go get Chester, would you? I haven't seen him in so long, and we can't have a reunion party if everyone's not here. I'm sorry. He's not in town right now. What? Aw, oh, no way. Oh well, what can you do? He's probably pretty busy. I'm afraid I'll be taking my leave for the night as well. My long absence likely had a few people worried, so I really should let them know I'm okay. Yeah, go ahead. We'll be fine here for the night. We'll probably go hang out a little before we go to bed. By the way, are you and Chester still living with the mayor? The mayor, starring Homer Simpson. Oh no, he and I have a house at the edge of town now. It's just... Hmm? Something wrong? Oh, it's nothing, really. 
I guess I'll be off then. It was nice to meet you, Adol, and good to see you again, Dogi. I know you two must be tired from your journey. Please take it easy and get some rest, okay? And as Elena exits, so shall we, at least for this episode. If you like this, join me again for part two. The next parts of this game are not quite as dialogue heavy once the actual game gets going. So, thank you for watching Ease the Oath and Felgana Part 1. I will see you next time.